Today, we will talk about the best trading view indicators that I've tested recently. This will be a mini indicator series apart from the main free trading course. Do not worry, we will continue our free course. However, from time to time, I'll test the best indicators out there. In the first section, I'll talk about what kind of indicators we can use for price action. In the next section, I'll organize the indicators so you can identify them without a problem. In the final part, we will go over the best indicators that I've tested recently. If you're ready, let's start. Welcome our free trading course, all about price action trading strategies and smart money concepts. This video will be about best price action trading indicators that can be found in TradingView. You should watch the free trading course to use the best indicators with efficiency. If you are looking for a structured table of contents, I set it up for you. You can find it on Google Drive or directly from my website, which is in the description. It is important to watch videos in order to fully understand everything. As price action traders, we cannot use all the indicators out there. We should be really careful about choosing our indicators. We need the most useful indicators that will help us to trade. They should be real-time as much as possible without lags. So, first we need to categorize the best price action trading view indicators. Then I will search for the best indicators. So, what are the indicator categories? Inefficiency indicators. These are imbalance, fair value gaps, liquidity voids, and volume profile based indicators, helping us to find order voids in the charts. Supply demand indicators. Order blocks, breaker blocks, mitigation blocks, rally based rally, drop based drop based indicators, helps us to find order accumulations as reaction points. Support resistance indicators, mostly for identifying price, rejection points, and possible SR Philip areas, helping us to see how the power changes hands between buyers and sellers. Market structure indicators, indicators based on zigzag, higher high, lower low, sieving points, breakers, liquidity zones, and high quality breaks, helps us to understand market and trend direction. Volume indicators, volume bars, VWAP, Visible volume profile, fixed volume profile, and volume trends like waste wave volume indicators shows us the willpower of buyers and sellers. Total SMC indicators, combining all other indicators in one single indicator. These types of indicators could be really complicated, but in time we will look into them. Today, what we will do is focus on inefficiency indicators like fair value gaps, liquidity gaps, imbalance trends, and so on. Before moving on to indicators, let's remember what imbalances are and how to use them to trade. One thing, you should watch and complete the free trading course. Otherwise, many things I teach you here may confuse you a lot. You can see the difference between balanced and imbalanced price action. In the first example, price is balanced. A healthy price action move, all buyers and sellers are satisfied. In the second example, price is imbalanced, price gapping, and leaving a fair value gap. There is no proper trend line, buyers dominate the sellers, and sellers do not have interest anymore. What is the biggest problem of price action traders? It is a high amount of analysis needed. This indicator can help you with that. This indicator is called Fair Value Gap from the programmer Nephew Sam. By the way, Fair Value Gaps are imbalances, 100% the same thing. Before talking about this indicator and how to use it, I'll have to teach you an imbalance mystery you have never witnessed before. As you remember, this is an imbalance, and imbalances are the gaps between the candlesticks. However, have you ever noticed that imbalances from the high time frames? are also high quality breaks. This is a quick trading hack to see charts from higher time frames. 
what happens if you open the lower time frames? There will be a giant imbalance there, but probably you will not be aware of it. The imbalances from higher time frames create natural support and resistance flip areas. As I said, this is a mystery that many traders are not aware of because they do not check multiple time frames. Now, this indicator allows us to check five different time frames at the same time. Let's get back to the charts and check the indicator. Before settings, I want to explain support and resistance flip created by the high time frame imbalance. As you can see, this is a 10 minute chart. However, you can see the big box says 4 hour fair value gap. If you look closely, you will witness the natural support and resistance flip area and a demand area with a breaker block. So I'm accessing multiple imbalances and natural support resistance flip areas with a single indicator. What are my settings? Firstly, this indicator gives access to five different time frames at once. I'll talk about time frames that you can use later on. First, I set the fair value gap type to high and low. Secondly, I check the checkbox for deleting boxes after filling. I don't want to clutter my charts with many boxes. Finally, check the height imbalance lower than enabled time frames. With any indicator, you would not want to try to access lower time frames from the current time frame. It may cause many data issues. Let's see the example. I'll play it and stop the video and then explain what happens. As you can see, this is a 15 minutes chart, but we are accessing one day, four hours, one hour, 15 minutes imbalances at once. Can you see the four hour imbalance here? which creates a natural support and resistance flip area. I'm accessing this info from a 15 minutes chart. As you can see, price reacts to 4 hour support and resistance imbalance flip area, a nice tradable area for us. Big warning. Of course, you should never use this technique alone. You should always combine multiple price action structures, such as swing failure patterns, order blocks, liquidity hunts, premium and discount zones, and others. Let's check this Bitcoin example. Same imbalance as our Philip happens here. This time my chart at 10 minutes and 4 hour imbalance creates a natural support and resistance Philip area. Let's check this gold example. We are using 15 minutes charts. You can see the nice and juicy break. And you can see the two different imbalances, 4 hours and 1 hour, creating a natural support and resistance flip area. Finally, the Euro USD example. I wanted to test this technique with all types of asset classes. This time we are using 5 minute charts. You can see how the giant 4 hour imbalance and 1 hour imbalance appears in the chart creating the perfect natural support and resistance flip area and how the price bounces. Okay guys, I need more tests for this technique. This is why I need you. I want you to test this indicator and imbalance flip technique. More people mean more data and better results. Let's talk about time frames. That is a very common question that is asked. First of all, swing traders. With high time frames, it is best to start by looking for weekly charts first, then down to the 1 hour for a possible entry. If you are mixing your trading style with day trading and swing trading, you either start with daily or 4 hours. 1 day, 4 hour, 1 hour and 15 minute. Time frames are probably the most common time frames that are used by majority of traders in the whole world. Now, if you want to be a scalper without so much hassle of higher time frames, you should start looking at charts from 2 hours or 1 hour time frames and looking for entries within 5 minutes. And finally, there are the micro scalpers that try to make micro entries. You should at least check the 30 minutes charts to get an idea about trend direction. 
These are not fixed time frames, and they can be adjusted due to your liking. But I hope this gives you the overall idea. I personally combine all the time frames. Yes, I start from the weekly to the one minute charts because I like all the data that I can get. Let's talk about imbalance histograms, a different concept for understanding the markets. This indicator is called fair value gap trends. Well, actually, I checked the codes. It does not truly really show the imbalances. Instead, it compares the closed data to high and low prices and identifies if there's a gap or not. Very simple indicator. Let's check the settings and move into examples. My settings are quite simple. Everything is disabled. And only the fair value cap counter is open and using the histogram as a chart presentation style. There are two ways to use this indicator. Very simple ideas that may help you with your trades. The first way to use this indicator is to take profits. This indicator is like the RSI indicator, with the price being overbought and oversold. What we use here is price gaps. The histogram overextends to one side which means it leaves so many price gaps behind and later price make a reversal to claim back those imbalances. I took this trade in real life. As you can see the histogram overextends because price leaves gaps behind a lot with this drop. Later on the price may want to claim back those gaps. A very simple indicator to use. The second way to use this indicator is by looking for entries. But how? Just like RSI, looking for overextensions and see if we can find entries. But a big warning, never just open a long or short because of the overextension. There are many overextensions here, you just need to check them for possible entry locations. As you can see, the price extends here, a possible reversal point. But I'm not sure if we can use it or not. I have to check other price action structures. If you look at the left, there is a considerable swing failure pattern. Just below, a natural SR Philip area and an imbalance. Price clears all the liquidity here and falls back to fill the imbalances created below. Just remember this, every dump will have a pump and every pump will have a dump someday. This is the nature of markets. My third indicator is for identifying imbalances and structural breaks. If you are a beginner trader with my free trading course and having a hard time identifying imbalances and structure breaks, this indicator may help you. This indicator is called fractal break imbalance. Very simple and very usable indicator for beginner traders. My settings are quite simple, as you can see on the screen. You can pause the video and check the settings. Let's check this example first and observe it later. In this example, you can see how the indicator identifies structure breaks for you. First the swing failure pattern above for us and creating a break of structure one after another. A very simple indicator for beginner traders. My final indicator is actually so simple. Many people keep asking me about which imbalance indicator I use currently. Yes, this is the one. My settings on the secret. This is the way I like them. As you can see, it does not do anything special. I specially use this indicator because once the imbalance is touched, it does not delete the filled parts. It keeps the imbalance same until it is fully filled. I like it this way because I need to see if the price touched the imbalance or not. Without looking to the left of the chart, it saves me time. Okay folks, this was our introduction video for best trading view indicators. I'll be testing top indicators for day traders and scalpers and see what we can find. I hope that this video was really useful and improves your day trading skills. I hope you subscribe to the channel and like the video. Please take care and see you soon.